Did the FDA signed off on COVID-19 booster shots for adults? Some worry it's coming too late to turn around Minnesota's latest surge. WCCO's Liz Collins sat down with the state's top infectious disease expert to talk boosters, breakthrough cases, and the best way to handle the holidays this year. This thing is far from over. At the U of M Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy, Michael Osterholm worries about the weeks ahead in Minnesota. He believes it's still too early to determine why one geographic area will see a spike in COVID cases over another. But he says we all play a part in the size of that surge through vaccinations and boosters in a state about 75% vaccinated. A quarter of the state's population unvaccinated still represents a lot of human wood for this coronavirus forest fire to burn. And that's what's happening. We are beginning to see an increase in number of breakthrough cases, people who have been vaccinated six or more months. That's why we now recommend the booster so that can be alleviated. Osterholm thinks the definition of fully vaccinated could soon change to include boosters, but no decision has been reached reached on the state or federal level for doing so, acknowledging the difficulty in enforcing and tracking such a system. If you're getting together for the holidays, first and foremost, feel empowered to protect yourself. Osterholm is most concerned with what happens over the holidays, suggesting people only gather with others who are vaccinated, recognizing the rifts it could cause. The bottom line is you don't want to have a holiday get together and then ultimately have transmission that occurs. Do you see a peak in Minnesota right now? Clearly case numbers are still climbing. Uh, all the indications we have in terms of test positivity, meaning what the percentage of people who are getting tested uh, are infected, I would suggest that we still have more to go with this uh, uh, surge before we hit the peak. In Minneapolis, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Ulcerome says booster shots begin providing protection in about a week to 10 days. However, it could be up to five weeks if someone is just beginning their initial vaccine series right now. And that is another reason Osterholm believes the holidays could be a critical time.